All right, so maybe you're a small YouTube creator just like me. We got some bad news this week, but I thought of three ways that we can still win. So check this out. All right, I'm Joey, and I'm on a crusade to help small business owners, team leaders, and folks maybe like you and me to be more successful in all we do, to think creatively, to remove the friction, and to become uniquely better. If this is your first time watching the channel, sure would appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing and clicking that bell notification button. And if you like this video, it'd be great if you'd give it a thumbs up at the end. All right, folks, and so here's what's going on. I was in here working on a video for another channel that I have, and I've been thinking about this whole YouTube change in monetization for small creators like me, possibly like you watching this. And maybe you got this email notification this week. So to start with, probably like you, I was upset about it. I, I didn't like it. And it was like this huge win whenever I finally reached that magic number to be able to monetize my channel. So that was pretty cool. So after reading the email, thinking about what was going on and, um, you know, I was, I was ticked off. I was upset. It was a real gut punch. I thought before I panic, before I make emotional decisions, maybe there's some alternatives, some other things we can do. So here's three tips that I came up with to uh, try to soften the blow of this. So the first thing is not really a tip. It's pretty much a consideration. You know, I didn't start my YouTube channel because I thought I was going to make money in it. In fact, when I started my YouTube channel back in 2008, I think, I didn't even know that you could make money off of YouTube. And back then, things were different. Once they did start monetizing, you had to be invited. It was just a big mess. Uh, and it was, wasn't was like that was what I was into it for. I started my YouTube channel because there was thoughts, suggestions, things I wanted to share. Uh, once I decided that I wanted to create a channel to help small business owners, team leaders, and just everyday folks like you and me try to grow and become better at what we do. It was, that was my why, and my why wasn't all about money. So, so my first tip that thought that helped me was what was the reason I got into YouTube? And once I remembered that, the money part didn't matter anymore. So the second thing I came up with for small creators was this idea. If you could figure out how to get people in your local little service area where you live, maybe a 20 mile radius, uh, if you're in rural area, 30, 40 miles, maybe just a suggestion, something for you to consider for yourself. If you could get enough people subscribing to your channel, in your local area and guys I'm telling you it doesn't have to be thousands and thousands of people subscribing to your channel what you have to do is have enough people subscribing and watching your channel to make it worthwhile for little small local businesses to maybe want to sponsor your channel if you've got enough people watching and you're mentioning their product and you're using their product guys look little small radio stations cover the United States, little small TV channels cover the United States and they've got sales guys out there running around selling at a recurring revenue rate advertisements for their station. And you could act like your own little station. Sometimes you may have more people watching your video than the small stations have watching or listening to them and they're out charging for this. So guys, it's something to consider you've got enough people watching to make it worthwhile for some small business to sponsor you that you could talk about them, have a little blurb on your channel to point people to those small businesses. So you can make money off of that if you've got enough local people watching. So that's idea number two. And then idea number three is this. For me, the biggest thing about the change in the rules was motivation. So tip number three is use it to light a fire inside of you and get motivated about if you're serious about this and it, and the money part is something that means a lot to you, then up your channel, video, production quality, 
up your sound quality, and that's something that I need to do myself. I, I readily admit that. But I really got serious at the end of 2017 about my channel that I've had here for, you know, nine years at the time, that I really wanted to up the production quality. I've, I've purchased editing software. I spent a lot of time doing research. I purchased video software that, that helps monitor what's going on in my YouTube channel. Up your game. If you're really serious about it and it made you mad, use that mad for a fire to do better, to grow more, and to see what you can create in your channel. So maybe they just weeded out all the wannabes out of it and you're somebody that really is committed to it. So use that as a fire to go to the next level because that's what I'm going to do. All right. I hope these tips have helped. I'm using it to help me go forward, not look back. I'm in this for my why, not for money. And if the money happens to come because great folks like you subscribe to the channel and you enjoy what I do, well, I benefit and it makes me work harder for you. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Hey, don't forget that if you check out in the description below the video, I've got tons of resources for you. I've got a bunch of stuff that help you be more productive. A lot of it is free that I use all the time. And that's why I put it in there because it really helps me. And the other thing is if you don't know who you are, you really need to figure that piece out. And I got a bunch of links down there where you can do some tests. Some of them free. Some of them have a cost. But I tell you what, the ones that cost, look, I don't get any money from this. I'm just sharing it with you guys to help you out. Some of them are, there's a cost to it. But I'm telling you, it is well worth it when you really figure out who you are, how you're wired, and what you're gifted with. Sure, it would be great if you'd leave some comments down there too. I'd greatly appreciate that. I would love to hear what you're thinking about all of this and what you're going to do to motivate yourself to do better. Hey, if you've got different tips about how to make your YouTube channel valuable, to get more subscribers, to get more people watching, I would love to hear that. So drop that in the comments. I'm sure other folks would want to see that too. So give that a consideration. All right, folks. Thanks. And until next time, you guys take care. I appreciate it. See you later.